because this story is famous, but we're going to tell it in a very magical way. We're going to tell the story about 3,472 little pigs. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have time for that one, do we? We'll do the Reader's Digest version. We'll do the story of the three little pigs, okay? And uh, our three little pigs, let me see if we can find our three little pigs here. First of all, there was uh, Eeny, Meeny, Miney. There ain't no mo. Just Eeny, Meeny, and Miney. Well, one day these little pigs realized they were tired of sleeping out underneath the stars and getting soaking wet with the dew and the rain that they needed a house. And so uh, they decided that they were going to build them some kind of a house. But you know what? If I remember right, there's somebody else in our story. Ooh, you know his whole name, don't you? The yeah, big bad wolf. It's not just simply the wolf, it's the big bad wolf. So, Eeny, Meeny, Miney, there ain't no mo. Oh, but there was a big bad wolf. <laughs> and he's kind of a scary guy. And in fact, he's going to be our bully in the story today. So we're not going to keep him around for long. I'll tell you what let's do. We're going to take the big bad wolf and we're going to put him right over here where he belongs, okay? Ah, there's the wolf den there. And of course, that leaves Eeny, Meeny, and Miney. Now, Meeny decided he was over at Farmer Jones's place, and he said, you know what? When I was over at Farmer Jones's, I saw this big old stack of straw, and all I have to do is take my little pig nose and get to work, and I can build me a nice, beautiful straw house. Ah, well, that sounded fine, but the other pig said, Ha! Straw house, are you crazy? Don't you know we live in Tennessee here where those Tennessee tornadoes come through? Why, they can just come a big wind and just blow that straw house away. He said, you're going to have to need a house a lot more substantial than that. You're going to need a house out of sticks. And I was over at Farmer Jones's place and I saw this big old stack of logs over there and I can just get to work and make me a big old stack of logs and make a big log cabin. You could call me Abraham Pig. You'll understand that in the third grade. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so he built him a house out of uh, sticks. Well, that left our little friend Eeny. He said, I'm sorry, guys, don't you remember we have a house? Uh, if you build a house of straw and a house of sticks, that's not going to be very substantial at all. In fact, when those old Tennessee tornadoes come through here, it's just going to blow those away. You're going to have to have something a lot stronger than that. He decided that he was going to build him a house of bricks. And so... He worked really, really hard. And while he was there building his house of bricks, the other two little pigs came along and they started making fun of him. They said, you're working too hard. You're working your little pig knuckles right down to the bone. You're sweating pig sweat. We all know nothing stinks worse than pig sweat. <laughs> well, he kept working and he even put him in a little window there in the back so he could look out and uh, uh, see all of his beautiful garden that he had made as well. So he had a wonderful house of bricks. Well... One day, this old big bad wolf, he woke up and he was hungry. He had a hungry appetite. And so he went about seeing what he could find to eat. And he noticed there was a new house on the block. It was a straw house. He had never seen that before. He said, hmm, never seen a house like that before. So he goes over and he looks in the window and guess who he sees? He sees a little pig in there. And so he knocks on the door. I don't like that part. <laughs> and he says, little pig, little pig, you let me in. And what did the little pig say? No, Not the hair, hair of my chinny chin chin. chin. He said, if you don't let me in, then I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow your house. No. Well, that scared the little pig. No. So he went and hid under the bed. So the big bad wolf, he went over, and he huffed. <gasps> and he puffed. <gasps> and he... <gasps> and straw went everywhere. And he captured that little pig and he took him back to his den to fatten him up. Ah, uh, because he was, he was uh, hungry and that little pig had a big head but not too much meat on the bone. Yeah. So he was still hungry, hadn't had anything to eat and it was lunchtime now. And he went back over and near the Farmer Jones's place, guess what he saw? A big old house of sticks. 
And he said, hmm, don't think I've noticed that house here before either. So he goes over and he looks in the window and guess who he sees? Another little pig. He sees another little pig. And she goes one. over and he knocks on the door. Ow, 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 I do not like that part. Ow. And he says, little pig, little pig, you let me in. And the little pig said, not but I have my chitty chin chin. If you don't let me in, then I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff. And I'm going to blow your house in. Down. Well, it scared that little pig, and he went and hid under the bed. And all you could see was his little curly pigtail. Well, the wolf came over, and he huffed. <gasps> and he puffed. <gasps> and he... <gasps> and sticks went everywhere. And he captured that little pig, and he took him back to his den to fatten him up, because he had a big head, but not too much meat on the bone. Well, he was still hungry, and it was supper time now and he still hadn't had anything to eat. And he noticed that on the block, there was another new house. And he went over and he looked inside. In fact, he snuck around the back. And so he could see our other little pig inside. And this little pig had been working hard building that brick house, and it was not easy. And the other little pigs had made fun of him. But while he was working hard, he got really strong and pumped up. Yeah, and so he the big bad wolf went over to the door. wolf house and he knocked on the wolf house. Just the brick house. Knocked on the brick house. <laughs> and he said, little pig, little pig, you let me in. And the little pig said, no. get back, Jack, you're not getting in my house, sucker. Because <laughs> he was a cool pig. He said, if you don't let me in, then I'm going to huff. And I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow your house in. He said, no way, Jose, you're not blowing my house in, fool. <laughs> well, the big bad wolf, he huffed, <gasps> and he puffed, <gasps> and he, <gasps> and brick, couldn't blow the, blow the brick house down because it had been built strong and firm. Well, he saw a chimney up on top of that house. Uh -oh. So he got an idea. Up on the house top, click, 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 down through the chimney with, oh, no, wait a minute, that's the wrong story, isn't it? No. Oh, but he did go up on the house and he did go down the chimney. <whistles> but instead of finding the little pig, guess what he found? A pot full of hot boiling water. And he said, ow, 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 ow. and off he ran, and they never ever saw that big bad wolf again. Oh, wonder what happened to the little pig. Yeah. <gasps> you know what? He went over to that wolf den and he got his brothers. And he took his brothers and back to live with him in the brick house. And the story ends that they all lived how? Happily ever after.